century was a time of unique ideological transformation in American politics. There was a shift away from the traditional Democratic and Republican Party platforms as a new political philosophy coined progressivism began to spread through the minds of the American people. Two of the most significant progressive presidents were Theodore Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson. Although presidents Roosevelt and Wilson shared a common progressive domestic policy agenda, the two presidents differed in their foreign policy objectives, Roosevelt being more imperialistically dominant, while Wilson tended to promote the spread of democracy and popular sovereignty to smaller foreign nations. When Theodore Roosevelt was elected president in 1901, he had an idea in mind, and that idea was to increase the influence and prestige of the United States. He wanted the United States to be a global power. Roosevelt's favorite slogan was speak softly and carry a big stick. This means that Roosevelt had support for caution and non-aggression, however, he will use violence if required. Therefore, Roosevelt sought to assemble a strong defense for the United States to avoid any possible conflicts with foreign nations. The Roosevelt Corollary was a major accomplishment of Roosevelt that went to show his stance on foreign policy. The Roosevelt Corollary basically said that the United States would intervene in Latin American countries that had serious economic problems and would assist them in times when Europe would step forward. Roosevelt's foreign policy and the addition of the Roosevelt Corollary ultimately allowed the U.S. to serve as policemen of the Western Hemisphere. However, in comparison to Roosevelt's passive-aggressive foreign policy, Woodrow Wilson was an anti-imperialist and focused his sights on spreading democracy throughout the world, rather than forcing the United States government upon other countries. After taking office, Wilson declared that the United States hoped to cultivate the friendship and deserve the confidence of the Latin American states, and he also emphasized that just government must rest upon the consent of the governed. But Wilson's insistence that their governments must be democratic undermined the promise of self-determination, similar to Roosevelt's imperialistic view. On January 1918, Woodrow Wilson had issued his 14 points as a basis for peace. He had also had an idea for a League of Nations to maintain world peace. In international affairs, Woodrow Wilson proved somewhat naive. He wanted to place the trust for future world peace in the hands of the League of Nations, yet America refused to join it. By refusing to join the League, the American political structure had seriously weakened the forerunner of the United Nations. Woodrow Wilson spent time after 1919 crisscrossing America trying to sell the idea of the League. Both Theodore Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson both significantly contributed to the emergence of progressive politics. However, the two presidents had differing foreign policy ideals, seen as how Wilson's foreign policy tended to undo Roosevelt's. Roosevelt's foreign policy expressed American dominance, greatness, and power, while Wilson's foreign policy attempted to spread the American ideals of democracy and reasons for said greatness outwards to emerging countries. Roosevelt wished to establish mercantile relationships with the emerging Middle and South American countries, wishing to strengthen America's international influence and support the Monroe Doctrine. Wilson, however, wished to establish democracy in order to create and strengthen an emerging international community, where America was only one of many participating countries. The innovation of progressive politics in early 20th century America allowed for policy adaptations amongst the various presidents to contribute to the new society.